Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be talking about runes and what is going on with them. So for this episode, I have put on this blue helmet you see here. This blue helmet is at fortify level zero, uh, refine level zero, everything. This I wanted to talk about first because I actually didn't realize this until much later in my game, but where you place your runes really does matter on which piece of armor. So for example, let's take a look at this Quake rune here. I get 6,825 health from it, but if this helmet was Fortify level 80, then I would get over 13,000 health, and if it was Refine level 6, I would get another 6,800, so nearly 20,000 health. So that's just something I wanted to clear up, because this is something that I didn't really know about, and it was rather confusing for me, because I thought maybe it was the rune level, or yeah, I didn't really know at the beginning, so telling you guys for anyone that doesn't know. So one other thing I did want to talk about is what the runes are actually doing. So if you're a player that likes damage over HP, then you want to focus first on the Holy Fire rune, because this rune has all damage attributes, so three damage attributes, so you'll be getting much more damage if you're going for the Holy Fire rune. Next would be the Holy Wind rune, because you get still two attributes from damage and one from health. But if you're going for health, then of course the Quake rune is the best one to focus on, because it gives you three health attributes, and then of course then the Holy Water rune. You should always keep your core runes a little bit higher than the rest, because these will increase your overall and your elemental damage. So especially if you're a gunslinger and can benefit from all of the different elements. Where to get runes? This is a very hard question, uh, because most of the runes you get kind of naturally, kind of just going through the story and stuff, but there is two ways to force runes. That is Team Instance and the Warrior Store. There are some pretty good runes here, so I'm focusing on like one or two at a time really. And so these are quality 24 runes I believe, yes. And so they are pretty good. There is a PvP League also, you can buy them here. They are extremely expensive. It would cost, I think you need 10 shards, yeah? 200 PvP tokens for one of these runes. I do not recommend buying the runes in the PvP shop until your Boric is Evo 13, because Boric is a very important pet in my opinion. You can also buy these, so maybe if you're one off or something, then splurge and get that last shard, but still I don't really recommend it. There is also the Arena, which is a good way to get runes, because these are the full runes. 3000 uh, reputation isn't too hard to accumulate over time, and you can get the full rune there. As you can see, I've bought the Quake rune already, or the earth one and the water one, and I'm focused on getting those next. Uh, you can get some lower level runes in the quest, so let me see here. These purple ones, these aren't bad, so if you get the full set and put them on your armor, that's a decent set there. So if you're really looking for better runes, uh, check out how far you can go in the story mode and you can get them there. Anyway, that's about all for runes, I believe. If there's anything I missed, please tell me in the comments below and I'll try and clear up any questions. So thank you so much for watching and until next time.